hello everyone welcome to the makri virtual hope you are doing good today i am going to continue with your same module that is employability and the professional development but the new uh, concept that is section number 4 that is how to develop the human development or how to develop the personality in the human development with the higher education but before this let's continue with the previous session that is what we have covered in the last class that is in the friday's class so let's start with section number 3 because we have covered section number 3 in the last class so section number 3 is the employability recruitment and the performance that is what is the recruitment what is employability and what is the uh, performance index that is maintained that is the employability recruitment and the performance so what is employability so it is a process of learning that leads to uh, individual gaining and retaining the fulfilling work so whatever the uh, process whatever the learning we have done that is a process that is the employability that leads to the individuals that gains and retain the fulfilling work so whatever the work whatever the gains that is used whatever the individual works and the gains that is retained using the fulfilling work that is the employability so it is a process of learning that leads to individual gaining and retaining the fulfilling work then we have discussed about the nature of the employability that is what is the nature of the employability that is the heart about the process of our learning so whatever the process whatever the learning that is outcome whatever whatever the learning that is taken by the person uh, so employability is one of the important concept or we can say employability is available at the heart about a process of the learning so that is employability so employability is at heart about a process of learning so there is a tendency to may measure employability in terms of whether the graduate obtains a job of specific type within a given period after the graduating so whatever the tendency whatever the skill that is required there is a tendency to measure employability in terms of whether the employability is available whether the graduate obtains a job of specific type within a given period after the graduating or not that is employability that is whatever whatever we have done for example i have, I have completed my graduation so i want a job right now so that is employability that is employability is a process of learning so that we can uh, do the employability we can process the employability with the process of the employable task so there is a tendency to measure the employability in terms of whether the graduate obtains a job of specific type after the graduating or not this is of course only relate to the employability of the new full time graduate and it is relevant or uh, is irrelevant as an indicator of employability development of those already in the work so whatever the graduate that is working in the employment that whatever the uh, people that is working already working that is also a, or there is also a measure of the employability in terms of the graduate that is already working or in terms of the people that is already used in for the graduation or that is already doing the graduation so these these are the few points that we have studied then we have studied about the employability should not be confused with the employability rate of the graduates from an institution so whatever the rate of institution whatever the rate of graduate uh, that pass from the institution so employability should not be confused from that because that is a past student that is not uh, they are get employed they are getting the employed after taking the job that is a uh, employability different concept so employability should be not be confused with other persons or with we can we can say other other criteria that is used for the employability so employability is a property of the individual or should not be confused with the employment rate of the graduate from an institutions employability cannot be used to refer to the institution itself that is not employable and employability can also be applied to the can also can only be applied to the individual because that cannot be applied to the uh, organization that is that, that does not um, needs the requirement of the employability but only the requirement of the employability is whatever the employee whatever the tool that is used that is used for the employment so employability should not be confused with the uh, uh, employment rate of the graduate from an institution so for example if the 100 student are pass out from the gra- institution from the graduate not on not uh, all the 100 student or 100 people have uh, got the job so employability is not confused with the persons or the employment uh, the rate of the graduate that is from the institution so institution may develop a graduate employability and enhance the attribute that makes them employable so it's the responsibility of the emplo- uh, institution that that uh, makes the people that makes the people in uh, we can say the, that that uh, develop the skills in the insti- people to make them employable or the good employee so that is a institution that is not a ma- employability measure so th- that can only be applied to the individual then we have discussed that the employability rate of graduate also reflect a range of factors that is also used or mixed with the institution 
This is the diagram that is a magic bullet employability or model of employability. First of all, there is HEI, then the employability development opportunity. There are multiple opportunities. Then a graduate person is available. Then employability skills are available. Then they, that there will be a employment. So these are the five steps of the employability or the employment that is used. So there is no magic bullet solution to the employability. The factors that is linking together the development of graduate attribute and obtaining the appropriate job are summarized in the figure two overly that is also used. And there is also more or there is more realistic representation than the magic bullet model. And the graduate has to decide whatever the employability skill that is required that is used for the employability skills and the graduate as well as the employment. So there are three focus on the employability development. First is the employability or first is the development of the employability attribute. So first of all, develop the attributes. We can say the features of the employability that is the development of the employability attributes. Then development of self-promotional and career management skills. So uh, this is also one of the focus that is uh, there will be a development of the self-promotional and the career management skill that is also used. That is also employability development. Then willingness to learn and reflect on the learning that uh, there, will, uh, there should be a willingness to learn that is how to learn and how to reflect on the learning that is employability development. So these are the three focus of the employability development. First is the employability or uh, development of employability attribute, then the development of self promotional and career management skills, then the willingness to learn and reflect on the learning that is uh, there should be focus on the learning there should be a willingness to learn and reflect on the learning that is how to learn and how to make the employability development possible that is employability development and three core processes also impact on the employability first the pedagogy then the self-reflection then the articulation then these are the recruitment or there are some recruitment practices also that is you or we can say that is uh, used by the employer for their employability that is used by the employers to get their employability that is the recruitment practices that is used in the employment Uh, so these are the recruitment practices of the employer that is also used that is a key element in the process by which the graduates uh, get jobs in their process almost all the employer in the graduate work survey exhibit some bias in the recruitment process that is also used for the development process and this is the diagram that shows the graduate employability development there is a subject area there is employability or employability development opportunities there is employability attributes self promotion skills willingness to develop these are the three dev uh, we can say the key features of the employability development there will be a recent uh, research that is also used. So this is our main point that is higher education and the employer needs to work together to overcome the bias of the recruitment or bias or biases in the recruitment against some group of graduate. So whatever the higher education, whatever the employer that is used that need to work together, they are, they are uh, they need to work together to overcome the biases. Overcome biases means overcome the differences in the recruitment against some form of or some group of graduates. So whatever the group that is used that is also form of the recruitment that is used to overcome the biases in the recruitment against some form of graduate that is a uh, or that is run over the higher education and the employers. Then there will be a yoke uh, strength zone process. This is a BA owner that is a uh, we have discussed the example in the last class. So this is these are the main points that is employability is developed through establishing the needs of the business. So there will be a need that is also established that is uh, that provides the employability and the achievement of the marketable skills within the academic learning then the work experience that is embedding within the program. So whatever the work experience that is used that is provided by the employability that is developed through the uh, uh, these three points either establishing the needs of the business and of the students either achieving the marketable skills within the academic learning either using the work experience that is embedding within the program. Then this is another example that we have discussed that is the University of Newcastle uh, upon type this is one of the example this, this this shows that there are multiple persons or there are multiple peoples or the students that work together for the business enterprise module that is they work together for their career services that leads to the development of the commercial understanding new venture creation and the occupational awareness that is also used that is a trading element that tests the business or student ideas and abilities in the marketplace and provides the most valuable aspect of the course and the successful ideas have included in online uh, textbooks, brokering service, language translation and tutoring, a uh, student employment agency and a website design. And at the end of the academic year, the companies must liquidate, but whistle the module is not designed as a startup program. Some companies uh, do reform and continue trading in their own right during the student final year. That is the main point that is a uh, multiple people or multiple students can get together for their 
learning for their uh, academic design for their web website design then recognition and the currency that is a recognition means how to find the recognition that is also receives a additional award that is recognized by the small business sector so employability is also developed through these points first of all enabling student to experience the reality of the business operations that is provides the student or enables the student we can say the encourage the student to experience the reality of the business operation so whatever the reality that is used whatever the thing that is used so that enable enable the student to experience the reality of business operation that is a live operation that is used that is a live of the business operations then introducing students to business owners specialized advisors and the business network so there will be an introduction to the student to be the business owners specialized advisors and the business network that is also help the student to overcome the speciality or special uh, effect that is also used for the advisors and the business network then uh, next is providing practical evidence of personal and the skill development that is validated by the sector so whatever the practices whatever the evidence that is provided so that is provided by the personal and the skill development that is developed or uh, that is validated by the sector then employability is also developed through the employer so there will be employability that is also developed with the employer uh, that input into the course so whatever the input that is given that is input in by the employer that is used by the employee of the week now this is section number 4 that is developing the employability in higher education institution that is a today's topic so that is how to develop the employability or what is the uh, skills or what are the various method that is used to develop the employability in the higher education institutions that is the developing the employability in higher education institution that is the section number 4 so higher education has always developed students employability so it's a uh, so it, it's the higher education that is also used that is also used to develop the uh, student or that also uh, that always develop the student in the employability that is if the student gets a higher education that is there uh, there they he or she is fully employable but now it is doing this in more explicit and the systematic ways and in close collaboration with the employer so, so there will be collaboration with the employer there is a contact with the employer that is also used that is also developed in the systematic way and in close collaboration with the employers so higher education has always uh, developed a students employability Uh, but now it is doing this in more explicit and the systematic ways and in close collaboration with the employer this is one of the important line and the next point says higher education institution in the uk has played their part in developing the employability so whatever the institution that is provided that is available in the uk has always developed or played their part or played their report in developing the employability in developing the employment the last 5 years have seen a much more explicit engagement with all the three aspects of the employability agenda so the last 5 years have seen a much more explicit program much more available program that is used that is engaged with the all the three aspects of the employability agenda developing the students attribute then developing the student self presentation skills and developing the students flexibility and willingness to continue learning so these are the five terms or we can say the three aspects of the learning first of all developing the students attribute that is the attribute of the students will be developed that is developing the student attribute that is designed to make them employer so there will be a, a person that is contacted that is designed to make them employer so that they are good or we can say they are uh, very benefited with the student attribute with the student features then developing the student self presentation skills that is uh, gain the confidence in the student gain the confidence with the student that is developing the students uh, self presentation skill so that they improve their recruitment chance so that they are self confident so that they are well confident they are self confident and there will be a more recruitment chances that is a good presentation skill and developing the students flexibility and willingness to continue learning that is this it, this is designed to ensure that they continue to be employer 
that is there would be a flexibility and the willingness to work or continue learning that is they are continuing to do learning that is designed to ensure that they continue to be employer that is a uh, we can say the uh, building the stamina building the patience in the uh, student so that they develop the uh, or there will be flexibility and willingness to continue the learning so these are the three main agendas so we can say the three main uh, aspects that is very important for the employability first of all developing the students attribute then uh, developing the student self presentation skills then developing the students flexibility and willingness to continue the learning then some initiative are the course specific others are the institution wide development such as the establishment of progress files or the development of career education module so some initiative that is taken that is the three initiative that is taken some are the course specific uh, or that is related to the course only and others are the institution wide development such as the establishment of progress file that is how to establish the files uh, that is uh, that is used to establish the files establishment of progress files or the development of career education module some activities for example target underrepresented groups while other enable self employment or aid small education or small business incubation so some some are the we can say the course specific and other are the institution wide development that is also taken uh, that is one of the establishment of the progress file that is used for the self employment or small business creation and there is growth in the partnership with employers also so there is a growth in the partnership with employers also that is also used for the employability uh, with employers non government organization that is ngos and the further education so there is a growth in the partnership that the business partners have contacted with each other with the government ngos that is a non government organizations and well as the financial institution that is also developed for the various modules and there are also initiatives such as occupation specific foundation degree that is intended to produce graduate who are employable employable in the intermediate level market one of the example is kingston university that is also uh, provide the engineering foundation degree which incorporates within the program the license to practice required to work in the aeronautical engineering so <coughs> So employability is about attribute development, building confidence, and self promotion skills, and increasing the lifelong learning. So employability is all about attribute development. That is how to develop the um, attributes, building the confidence. That is uh, uh, building the confidence among the students. So first of all, uh, developing the skill that is attribute development, then building the confidence and the self promotion skill that is the self representation skill that is also increase and increasing the lifelong learning. There, there will be a lifelong learning also that is also a part of the employability. That is also undertaken or that is also taken from the higher education. Then next is the system wide development that is also used that is also provided by the ways. So Wales has a system-wide approach as a result of pioneering work of the Higher Education Funding Council for Wales, that is the HEFCW, and the Welsh Development Agency, that is the WDA. And the, uh, this revealed that uh, there will be a system-wide development, there will be a development of the system-wide criteria that is also used for the system-wide exceptions that is also used that does not have an overall strategy for the development of the employability. And whatever the activities that is used, that also included providing or encouraging students to undertake work experience in various forms. And there will be a less degree that is also used for the embedding employability skills in the curriculum. And the system-wide approach to encouraging the employability development has been successful in the Wales. So whatever the system wide approach that is used that is also used in the employment or that is also used for increasing the employability that is also used to increase the employability development that is successful in the Wales that is also used in the Wales. And to date there has not been an equivalent system wide employability approach in the England. So uh, to date or nowadays or we can say till date there has not been an equivalent system wide employability approach in England although HEFCE in collaboration with the DEF is commissioning a team to coordinate initiative to enhance the student employability in the higher education. So 
they get to or they are coordinating to enhance the student employability in the higher education mm, that is also one of the part that also increases the employability development that is also used to develop that is successful in the way at the university of central england in brebem employability is integrated into the teaching and the t learning and the teaching strategy so uh, in the at the universities of the central england the employability is integrated or we can say that they will be combined combined um, uh, employability employability integrated or combined uh, into the learning and the teaching strategy whatever the teaching strategy whatever the learning strategy that is also used that is also used for the learning and the employability skills now next is the range of activity that is uh, what is the range of activity that is uh, how how they are using that is employability and enhancing activity that is also used with the institution that is also so there will be a multiple range of activity that is also undertaken that is also enhancing the employability skill that is also used to enhance the employability skill that is available in the employability criteria that is also used within the institution that is categorized into four broad areas so there are four broad areas by which we can integrate uh, the activity that is we can integrate the topic that is also used for the employability criteria now what are the various four categories first of all enhance or revise the central support that is also used or that is also enhance or revise the central support for the undergraduate so that the people or the student who are studying that is known as the undergraduate person so they also get enhanced or revise the central support and there will be a graduate in their search of the work or there will be searching in the work that is also used that is also used for the undergraduate and the graduate in their search of work then abiding uh, or embedded attribute development within the program of study often as a result of modification to the curriculum to make the attribute development explicit or to accommodate the employer input so whatever the employer uh, attribute whatever the attribute development that is used that is also developed with the program of the study that is used as a result of the modification to the curriculum to make them explicit available to make them available with the employer input then uh, next next category or next area is that innovative provision of the work experience opportunity so whatever the provisions that is provided whatever the activities that is used that is also used for the opportunities uh, within or external to the program of the study that is also used for the program of the study that is also used with the external to the program of the study so uh, there will be criteria so that the student get their activities or their uh, we can say the enhancement that is also categorized into four activity one is any innovative experience that is chosen that is uh, any innovative ex work experience opportunity that is within or external to the program of study then last point is it uh, we can say the another activity that also enable the reflection on and recording of the experience attribute development and the achievement whatever the achievement that is used whatever the criteria that is used that is also used for the attribute development and the achievement alongside the academic ability by using the progress file so whatever the progress file that is used whatever the attribute development that is used that is also used with the attribute development and uh, as we see there are four attribute uh, there are uh, three focuses one is the attribute development self promotion and the career management these are the various attribute that we have studied in the section number 3 and uh, the culture change that is also used in the higher education has been a shift towards from the central support service working with the program staff that is nowadays everything is now we can say available uh, within the live approach with the live approach so there will be a cultural change in the higher education that has seen a shift towards the central support services working with the program staff um larry your question is what is the difference between the employability skill and the attribute very good question employability skills means uh, the skills that is developed by the employer or that is developed by the employee for their uh, we can say the for their innovations for their improvement I, if i am talking about in terms of the employer for their promotion if i am talking about in their employees that is for getting the uh, increment in the money that is a, we can say the salary hike or salary increment that is employability skills that is what are the skills that is required one is the attribute that is what are the features that is available that is used as a skill or that is used for the gaining the skills for example i have attribute that is i am very self confident so I, i i have to gain or i have to use the self confident skill or attribute for gaining the one of the skill that is incrementing the salary so that is a skill and what that is a attribute so attributes are used before the skills 
so if you have an attribute you have a feature then you can achieve the skills you can get the skills after getting the skill you can achieve your targets so first of all there will be attributes that are the features of a person individual then there will be a uh, skills that is developed within the person and there will be the output that is also used for the development of the person uh, all right clear larry larry your doubt is clear yeah 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 uh, that is attributes are the we can say the some etiquette that is available from the schools from the parents and the skills is developed within the organization when you are working somewhere yeah yes yes when you are working somewhere you have a working experience that is your skills so self promotion and the career management is no longer a separate activity this is these are the two same activities one is a self promotion one is a career management so you can self promote it with each other you can uh, manage the career with uh, each other or we can say involve with each other that is a self promotion and the career management so this is important as a graduate must be able to do more than just sell themselves they have to be able to perform in a job once they are recruited conversely potentially good performers also need the skills to get a job in the first place so they are also uh, good performers that also get the jobs in their workplace that is also used in the employability skills an emphasis is also being placed in the learning to learn that is how to learn when to learn to the various program that is shift in the pedagogy from knowing what to and knowing how to find out and through reflecting on the work experience so whatever the work experience that is used that is also used for the work experience so there is more integrated approach with the central support services uh, working with the program staff to develop identify and record the skills and the abilities so whatever the approach is whatever the approach or whatever the content that is used that is also used for the central support services that is also working with the program study that is also uh, we can say any any program study that is developed that is also used for the program development and the criteria that is also developed for the program study and the development of the material so there is a program study that is integrated approach that is also undertaken for the program of the so there is more integrated approach with the central support services working with the program staff to develop identify and record the skills and the ability now uh, we have covered with the uh, one approach that is a uh, one support that is used now next is a central support that is usually in the form of the career services so that their career will be developed their, that is the career services has changed radically since the mid of the 1990s and it, it is used to consist mainly of the careers Uh, uh talks and one of one to one career advice session for student that is also preparing the or that is also approaching the graduations that is a uh, uh, students are doing the graduation also get they get the career opportunities or we can say the career counseling that is how to develop the career uh, which is the better approach which is a better organization and how or what are the types of skill that is required in that organization and the university of hadal Uh, shared career services for example now takes the responsibility for the job shift so whatever the jobs that is taken that is also the responsibility of the career development it has a system for regular feedback from staff students and employer and is involved with local and regional agencies so whatever the staff whatever the regional development that is used that our feedback that our criteria that is also used for the uh, development and the employer a student and the employer that is also involved with the local and the regional agencies and it runs on the annual employer strategy day with the employers in the region and also close link with the other criteria that is also used with the senior management and it did, it is involved in developing work experience and supporting the career development networks now central services have been transformed over the last 5 years that is central services have now changed from the last 5 years and no longer marginal to learning there is no longer marginal to learning that is there will be no scope in the learning because that is developed already and this is a figure that is a holistic development of employability 
one is the in program then there will be a central support there will be a work experience there will be a program files or the we can say the program file that is also used and uh, first of all there will be attribute development then self promotion and career management then willingness to work and the reflect on the learning so these are the three parts one is attribute development that is the attributes will be developed or we can say the skills will be developed then the self promotion and the career management then willingness to learn and reflect on the uh, willingness to learn and reflect on the uh, le uh, learning uh, benjamin and larry uh, my advice to you i will send the pdf after the class so don't worry i will send it today only positively all right so please concentrate on the class not on the pdf not on the study material all right everyone okay thanks i'm sure i will send you uh, after one hour or uh, 45 minutes when the class is over all right so this is first is there will be attribute development then the self promotion and the career management then willingness to learn and reflect on the learning so these are the three part that is also used that is the holistic development of the employability that is how to use the employability what is the holistic development of employability so this is the approach that is used and the important initiative in supporting the disadvantaged student is the association of and uh, graduate career advisory services there will be a agcas that is association of graduate career advisory services there will be a minority ethnic recruitment information training and support that is a merits project which works with the black and the asian student and graduate who tend to be disadvantaged in the job market and that program includes uh, involves several institution that including the southampton institute Manchester Metropolitan and the De Montfort University that is also used with the universities but that is a group of university that is also used in the Yorkshire uh, have developed a similar initiative that is known as the impact so this is the sub theory of the SMEs the theory of the we can say the disadvantaged person that is also supported for the SME that is will be, there will be a shell technology growth program and the development and the similarly named project was devised and developed by the foundation of the sme that is a subject matter expert at the university of the durham that also involved the graduate talents and widen their career opportunities it also offers local sme lasting benefits for the employment of graduates the knowledge innovation and technology transfer scheme Uh, a development in the greatest west midland area supported by the nine higher education institution also held the 650 or 60 smes a year to take on the graduate to undertake a specific project for up to 13 weeks so whatever the weeks whatever the graduate that is yours that is also used with the sme and the career services are not only the organization providing generic support there will be a crac that is a career research and advisory center that is also used as a national union of students and this is the example of the university of the brim mm, brimgan that is one of the example this is the example of the rival pool uh, so this examples i am discussing after the break so let's take a break only for the 10 minutes i will i will come after exactly the 10 minutes because uh, the duration of the class is too short so let's take a break only for the 10 minutes okay okay all right so uh, next is a uh, example of the university of the brim brim that is also used that is also one of the uh, major uh, uh, example that is also used that is the university of the brim brim that is a course that provides the te technical skills but also produces the graduate who have something extra when applying for the media related job so whatever the jobs whatever the media related job that is also used whatever the technical knowledge that is used so this uh, course provide or the university of the brim brim have a course that also provides the technical skills but also produces a graduate who have something extra when applying for the media related job american and the canadian studies department 
and fil B history, film on the television that is also used. That is a vocational study that is also used for the development of the course. And the course was created in the 1996 as an outgrowth of an undergraduate course that have been running since the middle 1980s. So this is, uh, we can say the course was created in the 1996 as an uh, outgrowth of the undergraduate and that is running since the mid 1980s. The academic expect consisting of a specialized approach to the study and the production of history using the audiovisual material. So whatever the material, whatever the audiovisual material that is used, that is also used with the employability scale. Uh, critical engagement with these media is integral to the course. Vocationally, the course provides the technical skills, but also provides the graduate who have something extra when applying for the media related job. That is the course provides the technical skills that every university, that every course provide. But this course also provides or also produces the graduate who has something extra. So there will be extracurriculum activities that is also involved when applying for the media related job. So they develop their uh, skills in the form of the media related. But uh, the course provides the graduate who, uh, who, who are the first and the form of good researchers, but who can also apply their research skills in a work scenario. Paul Woof of the uh, Maverick Television, who takes placement student from the course and employed is graduate, commended that the course produced academically qualified student who, unlike some graduates from more explicitly vocational courses, did not expect to walk in to the high level position. They came into the uh, without any preconception, just wanted to learn about the job. So whatever the job, whatever the criteria that is used, that is also related to the technical skills, that is also related to the graduates, they have something extra when apply for the media related jobs. And there is a CNN.com that is also used, that is also used by the CBT or the CBC that is also used in the New York technology. And the placement is a two way process with the students identifying the organization they want to work for. And the employers have a chance to see their CVs and the interview. Okay. So this placement or the placement, whatever the placement that is used, that is a two-way process with the student that is uh, identifying the organization they want to work for and uh, for the employers. And the employers have a chance to see the CVs and the interview candidates. So placement is a two-way process that is the students can uh, apply for the uh, we can see the vacancies and the employer can see the vacancies in the form of the CVs that is uh, related with the that is coming on the mail, internet, anything that is used. The student themselves produce a report applying the theoretical aspects of the from the first semester to the practical work placement experience. Then next is the responding to the reality. That is how to respond to the reality. What are the various terms that is also responding to the reality? The course has to some extent been the victim of its own process as several students have been uh, offered rolling contact as a result of their placement. So uh, have not been or have been unable to complete their dissertations. And to resolve this academic vocational friction, students can declare that they will complete the coursework and therefore receive a uh, postgraduate certification. So employability is developed through uh, these are the three points by which the employability is developed. First is balancing the academic and the voc vocational requirements. So there will be a proper balance between the vocational and the academic requirement that is used. Uh, that is uh, uh, balancing the academic and the uh, vocational requirement. So there will be a proper balance between the academic solution and the vocational solution. There will be a proper maintenance or we can say the there will be a gap between the employability or academic and the vocational requirements. And then the next point is that is how the employability is developed that is developed through the development of the links between the university and the local and the national employers. So there will be a link uh, between the university and the local and the national employer. Who are the national employers? Who are the local employer? And what is the relationship with the local and the national with the university? Then uh, employability is also developed through a flexible attitude towards the need of the students on the course. So whatever the flexible attitude that is used, that is also used or that is also attitude that is towards the need of a student on the course. That is a flexible attitude. That is, any, any, any student can change their course, any student can apply their course, any student can add their lessons, anything that is used, that is a flexible attitude towards the uh, uh, needs of the student on the course. The next is the University of the Liverpool. That is a uh, next example. The student learn about the ethics of equal opportunities for in training. So there will be a volunteering uh, career expect that is also used, that is also provided for the opportunity volunteering and the practical issues of working with the range of organizations. So whatever the range, whatever the studies that is used, that is also range with the studies, that is also develop the practical approach of working with the range of the organization. 
now voluntary service learning expect so what what is the okay voluntary service learning background that is used this is one of the uh, two years ago the department of the sociology at the university of liverpool proposed an innovative work based learning module for the first five year student or the first year student that is also used and these are the application of theory in the practice there will be lsca that is a part of the guild of the students and they learn about the ethics of the equal opportunity that is used with the academic solution that is a voluntary solution then the electronic support for the sick development there will be a proper web based personal development learning tool that is used that is a liverpool university student interactive database so there that is a web based scenario that is used that is a lusid that is a liverpool university student interactive database that is a web based technology that uses the internet and there are three main elements one is the recording section that contains a template for a reflective learning log and uh, then the customizable skills audit and the communication and the information technology that is also used and the action planning section that also reports for the employability and there will be a placement opportunity also that is also organized through the liverpool communities uh, student community section that is a majority of the placement that is also provided through the liverpool student community action and the student do have the opportunity to organize their own placement if they wish so whatever their wish is whatever the organization uh, whatever the placement they have they uh, they wish they can get the placement they get the opportunity to organize their own placements and there are wide variety of voluntary opportunities that is used that is working with the education group to devise and put on anti bullying plays so whatever the anti bullying plays that is used that is also used the device that is also used for the devising and implementing the play days for the young children and helping out a care homes are the typical example then next is the evaluation and the first year that the module was offered the module coordinator expect between the 6th and the 12th student so whenever uh, the module will be started whenever the module is starting so the we can say the coordinator will expects only the 6 to 12 student but then gradually it increase 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 and they reach to over the 30 student that indicating the real interest in this type of opportunity that is uh, one of the evaluation criteria that is used that is uh, we, uh, how to evaluate the student or what are the various method to evaluate the students and this work was extremely helpful and i hope it has proved as a useful to the student at least most certainly did for our organization so whatever the organization whatever the criteria that is used that is also used for the organization assessment now employability is enhanced that is how to enhance employability by working with the guild of the students utilizing the lusid that is a liverpool university student interactive database that is a web based database effectively so use the online method not the offline method but all the online method that is a web based scenario will be used then using a range of training and assessment methods there are multiple training and assessment method that is also used that is also used with the uh, that is also used for enhancing the employability then using a range of training and assessment methods now next is a career management so a significant change as mentioned above has a development of the student own career that is how to develop their career what are the method to develop their career so there will be a development of the student own their career management skill that is the CRAC that is a career management skill that is a career management skill program That that is a pioneer in the uh, encouraging the student to begin to plan and manage their future career early on uh, while at the university. That is manage their future career. That is what they want to expect from doing or what they expect. That is how 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 to use them or how to develop their skill. That is one of the uh, career management skill that is also used as enhancement in the career management technology. So there will be career management that is the development of student uh, that is the own career management skill. And this program is used to encourage the students. to begin to plan and manage their future career early on while at the university so whatever the university criteria that is used that is used as a effectively jobs and uh, this is also used to identify or this was designed to help the student and graduate develop and gather the evidence of skills 
identify the career performance or preferences and plan the effective job application so whatever the application that is used that is also effective in the part of the job applications then what is the central support for embedding the employability in the curriculum that is a, what is the support that is providing that is embedding support there will be a central support for embedding the employability in the curriculum and curriculum means in the syllabus of the module in the syllabus of the course that is a central support for embedding the employability in the curriculum so one is a central support that is used for the embedding the employability in the curriculum that is how to employ embed the employability in the curriculum that is also one of the curriculum aspect that is used so a relatively a new activity in the is attempt to integrate the centrally support employability development into the curriculum activity in various way that is also used uh, therefore in most of the institution the central staff have been intended to work as an ad hoc way with the academic on the request so whatever the academy that is used that is on the request that is also used for the embedding the employability in the curriculum leads metropolitan or metropolitan university skills for learning for example is an attempt to broaden this process it is an online resource available on and uh, of the campus accompanied or accompanied by self study guide it is innovative in combining the employability development with study skills information and the research skills using the it learning and the teaching group skills so whatever the group skill that is required that is also used for the learning in your skills so more and the more program have been revised to include the employability element alongside subject matter dynamics so this is one of the important aspects so this university along with the study they are also doing the activities or we can say they also including the or also include the employability element that is also used or that is um, used with the subject based learning so but whatever the subject based learning that is also introduced that is also introduced with the subject based so more and more programs are been revised to include the employability elements alongside the subject based learning in ways that meet the learner need so whatever the learner need that is also meet by the employability so more and more programs are been revised now next example is the university of the north london that is the next example the placement also provides vital constructive employer input So, if a person is or if a student is placed after getting the or after doing the graduation, that is one of the major or one of the vital constructive employer input. That is, uh, whatever the input we are given, whatever the payment we are given, whatever the skills, whatever the we can say the requirement that is given or that is taken, that is provides the if the placement is there, that provides the vital constructive employer input. So, first is the school of the health and the sport science or even. So the applied consumer psychology degree offers scientific approach to explaining consumer behavior and was the first undergraduate course of its kind in the UK. So whatever the approach that is going to explain, yeah, it is an industrial placement that is the uh, students get uh, placed in different companies in the different industry. So that is a uh, uh, that offers a scientific approach to explaining consumer behavior and was the first undergraduate course of its kind in the UK. the course covers consumer psychology marketing and the computer science consumer science uh, through the school or we can say that through the institute anything college institute school because uh, till 12 there is a school but after 12 there is a college institute that provides the employment that provides the placement so the course offers or the course cover consumer psychology marketing and the consumer science it integrates an understanding of consumer behavior with aspect of marketing and research methodology so whatever the methodology whatever the research that is used whatever the aspect that is used so that also depends on the cons- consumer behavior that is also used with aspect of the marketing and the research methodology and seeks to develop the marketing and knowledge and the skill that is used for the processing the development that is sent by the or that is uh, sold by the major employer and the final year module that is a uh, psychology of consumer analysis was inspired by the subject based module work placement for the work profession experience which is available to the all the graduate undergraduate at the university so whatever the university whatever the module that is used that is also used for the development of the or psychology of the consumer analysis the psychology of the consumer analysis module involves students undertaking the placement with the companies and then conducting the independent small scale consumer research process so whatever the research whatever the small scale independent technique that is used whatever the approach that is used that is also conducting the small scale consumer research process uh, 
uh, they produce two written appro uh, approach on the their finding reports on the finding one is academic one one is a commercial report so one is the academic uh, uh, one that is also used one is a commercial report that is used for the organization so there are two approaches one is academic one is a commercial they also give an in company uh, presentation the experiences prepare them for graduate employment and provide them with the vital constructive employer input so whatever the input whatever the constructive employment whatever the graduate employment that is used that that provide them or they provide them with the vital constructive employer input then delivery that is how to deliver such employee or with uh, certain methods or how to deliver uh, such benefits that is available in the organization so at the start of 12 uh, week assignment employer visit the university to outline their activities and requirement and to agree a project with the student so at the start of the 12 week assignment that is used so employers visit the university to outline their activities visit the university means go to the university or we can say plan for the university to outline their activities and requirements and to agree a project with each student these require student to act as a consultant and tackle uh, real life business challenges producing the solutions for genuine problem and the product and the project typically involves so what the project involves what this project involves that typically involves a negotiation between the employees and the development of the client consumer a relationship so there will be a negotiation there will be a bargaining with the employees and the development of the client consumer or customer relationship then the development and analysis of the questionnaire that is the develop the questionnaire and analyze the questionnaire that is prepare a questionnaire that some question and uh, provided to the student that is the delivery part then the quantitative analysis then time management self organization and the uh, reflection so this project that is undertaken by the university of the london that is also uh, provide or that also provides the time management self organization and the reflection then development of the communication skills students take the responsibility for the project with support for from being both employer and the tutor so whatever the tutor whatever the project that is used that take the responsibility for the project then involving the employer that is how to involve with the employer so the support and the cooperation of the employer integral to the module operation so whatever the support whatever the cooperation that is given uh, by the employer that is very important for the module operation good working relationship have been established with the mix of both local and the national employers such as the bus industry so whatever the industry that is used that is the bus industry that is used for the employer development fast marketing uh, couch retail communication and uh, islington council providing a good variety of organization and product or product for the student project then what are the various outcomes so students are extremely positive about the experience that helped me uh, put of uh, together put together loads of the things from my core that is the practical work instead of the mountains of the theoretical input so that there will be more th uh, practical work instead of the practical work or instead of the theoretical work so the employability is developed through active engagement with the employer so there will be a proper engagement proper coordination proper involvement of the employer that is the active engagement with the employers then the employer assessment and the feedback that is how to assess the employee that is the employer assessment and the feedback then the self reflection there will be a self reflection in terms of the employability then developing the time management and the communication skills so whatever the time management skill that is used that is the developed with the time management and the communication skills then putting theory into practice real assignment that is whatever the real assignment that is used that is used with the uh, putting the theory into the practice that is uh, um, that is achieving uh, that is used for achieving the employability that is the putting theory into the practice that is a real assignment so these are the few methods by which the employability can be achieved the next is the university of the wales bangor so that is the next part that is the uh, university of the wales and the bangor students participate in interactive workshop tutorial and the group work and are required to deliver the presentation so whatever the presentation that is used that is also used to required to deliver the presentation that is the student participate in the interactive workshop we can say student participate in the workshop that is used for the building the career
So first is a peer guiding module that is a complementary curriculum. So peer guiding module are a formal and the accredited acknowledgement of the important and valuable work that some student performs. So whatever the student perform, they are doing the valuable task that is also used for the accredited acknowledgement of the important and the valuable work. From the outset, the program was designed to develop the autonomy and the general skills of the participant. So whatever the participant, whatever the general outcome that is used, that was designed to develop the autonomy and the general skills of the participants. The program is one in which second year students volunteer to act as a mentor. So there will be a mentor and the mentee that is also we can say that some group will be formed uh, and uh, some group will be formed and uh, we can say or we, uh, we provide them with the various capability that acts as a mentor and they guide the freshers, whatever the freshers come, they guide the freshers that is also used with each within the each department at the start of the academic year. And there are usually about 400 mentors operating during the year. So there are in totality 400 mentors that is available during the year. That guides the freshers uh, so that there will be a relationship between the mentor and the mentee. Then uh, academic recognition, that is how to uh, recognize the academic recognition, that is academic recognition. That is a peer guiding module are valued at a 10 credit run during semester 2 and regularly updated in the interim. So the peer guiding module that are valued at the 10 credits. So whatever the module that is used that is valued at the 10 mod credits run during the semester 2 and are regularly updated at the interim. They are based on an analysis of the needs and are intended to develop the interpersonal and the communication skills management in the organization skill. So whatever the skill, whatever the criteria that is used that is also intended to develop the interpersonal and the communication skills. Then there will be a presentation and the group work skills also that also present the capabilities in the problem solving, referring and the networking. So whatever the networking module, whatever the referring module that is also used, that is also used for the development of the organization skill, presentation and the group work skills that the problem solving, referring and the networking. Then student also participate in the interactive workshop. So the student also participate in the interactive workshop because they the fruitful workshop that is also used that also use their group work and are required to uh, deliver the presentation that is also used to deliver the presentation that is used with the uh, academic counselors and also provides an opportunity to develop understanding and awareness of the concept that is used and all the assessments now involve an important element of the group work and students are required to demonstrate their ability to discuss the situations and devise the solution that exhibit a knowledge and understanding of problem. So whatever the understanding of problem, whatever the knowledge that is used, that is also used to develop the skills and the development or discuss the situations and devise the solutions. Then uh, next is the research, organize and collate information to produce a handbook for peer guide. So whatever the guide, uh, whatever the module that is used for research, organize and collate the information to produce a handbook for peer guide. Then uh, next is plan for a mini project. So plan out for a mini project. Groups that create uh, department based activity for first five years during the freshest week. That is a mini project that is also taken when they present their ideas. So employability is developed through academic recognition of the value of the work experience. So whatever the work experience that is used, that is also used for the recognition of the work experience that is also used as a mentor, that is also used as a criteria, that is also used for the employability skills. Then training the students as the mentor. So train the students as the mentor that is also used for the employability skills. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, are you able to listen me? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, are you hello? Yeah, my voice is audible to you. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, what happened? 